Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to speed up Windows 11 for better performance, even for gaming. If you've just installed Windows 11, uh, you're going to know that there's a bunch of stuff that you have to turn off, like privacy settings, uh, background apps, and things like that. And this can take a bit of time, but there is a script that someone has created, which I want to share with you guys, which will make this process super quick. So let me just show you some of the things like widgets and things like that that people don't want to use may want to turn all this stuff off. But before we do that, let's have a word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 keys, check the link in the video description. Click on that and you'll be able to buy yourself a Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09. Head over to the activation center on Windows 10, paste in your product key and click next and then click on the activation key to activate Windows 10 Pro for cheap. I'll leave all the links and information in the video description, so check those out for more details. Now let's get back to our tutorial. So to use a script means you can do it all in one fell swoop. So let's take a look. So this is a brand new script that I stumbled on, which I wanted to share with you guys. So you can see it's designed for Windows 11. I'm pretty sure that it's a work in progress, which means there's going to be more stuff added to this as time goes on. Uh, but you can download this and run it for free. So all you need to do here is you can see this is the very latest version here. So we'll download this version by going here. So let's go ahead and download this. And we've now got this one here. So we can open this up. And you can see we have two folders here. So let me just shut this down now and we'll copy these files over to our desktop that simple so we close off that so what i will say is before you run any sort of script on your pc it's probably best that you make a restore point or make a backup of your data or anything like that it's always best before you run these scripts that you understand that it's going to make changes to your operating system and you have to do this basically at your own risk. I'll take no responsibility if you make changes to your operating system and later find out that you can't revert it and you'll have to do a fresh install. That is totally on you if you run these sort of programs. So bear that in mind. If you don't like tweaking your PC, then leave these videos alone and don't touch these types of scripts. So let's right click on here and assume that you want to move ahead and click on run as administrator. You'll get this box popping up here. We can go more info, and this is because it's an unknown publisher. But we're going to run it anyway and say yes here. And we now will have this program opening up here. So you can take some time here and read some information yourself. And you can see we do have some areas here, like the home button here. We have some settings, and you can see we do have some other areas here. So let's have a look at the start up near the home and just under there there is something called system we can click on here and drop down the plus sign here and you can see it's nicely laid out so you can see that we have personalization third party system gaming privacy and apps permissions and stuff like that so start off with the personalization you can see here use apps dark theme use windows dark theme and there's a bunch of stuff that you can actually disable like disable widgets and you can click on these and basically take the tick out or put the tick in depending on what you want to remove on the system there's uninstall widgets maybe you don't want to uninstall it and you just want to disable it you would just remove the tick from there once you're happy with all of these settings here you can leave these as is move on down to your third party and you can see enable classic uh, taskbar and this using this uh, explorer patcher here if you don't want to use that then obviously remove the tick otherwise you will end up installing the explorer patcher what is the explorer patcher well you would have to uh, go to this location and check out what it is i'll show you the site so you can see it for yourself it's this one here and you can come down and you can read the information about what Explorer Patcher does. You can see here, aims to bring back productivity working environment of Windows 11. And there's a bunch of information down here which you can read about. 
And if you're happy with it, then you can enable that feature and run it. You can see what it actually does. It ex explains everything that it does on the computer. So we'll leave that enabled just so you can see. Then we're going to move on to system. Remove fax printer and removes a bunch of other stuff. If there's stuff in here that you use on a regular basis, then maybe untick it. Move on to gaming. Same thing again. We'll move on down here to privacy. Diagnostic data. And you can see these are the telemetry side of things. These are collecting telemetry and stuff on your computer. Location tracking advertisement ID and other things like that. So you can leave these here ticked. I'm pretty sure you're going to, and then moving on to the apps. So app access to camera. Now, if you're using your camera, then you may want to remove this tick. Apps access to microphone. If you remove these, these are the access to your microphone. So depending on what you want to do, just remove the ticks on stuff, okay? This is a test machine, so it doesn't really matter for me. Once you're happy with these, we're going to move on to the apps. And you can see there's a bunch of apps here as well. Loads and loads of apps all in here that it's going to remove. Microsoft Teams, your phone, and things like that. So it's going to remove all of these. Now, you can see here on the middle column, we've got Add All, Add Selected, Restore All, Restore selected. Yeah, and these are just clickable items. So, for instance, you would, if you was to, you know, highlight all of these it, and then add all of these, it's going to recycle bin and it's going to remove all the, remove these like so. If you wanted to restore one of these and say, for instance, you wanted to keep a certain item, then, for instance, this say, Windows camera, uh, you would restore that selected and it will put it back. Okay. So any, any one of these that you want to keep, you would just restore them back over. Like I just showed you there. If you want to remove it, you can obviously click on it and add it. It's that simple. Going on to packages. You've got an installer here, which allows you to install packages, which is quite a nice little feature. For instance, if you want seven zip, you can add that in here. And there's a bunch of other stuff on here. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be adding more of this uh, to uh, this uh, bundle here. I'm pretty sure there'll be more stuff added on here. You've got Firefox and a bunch of other stuff. So let's just add some of these in. So you can see how it works. And then we'll move on to the next section. So we've got enough added in, in here. And this will obviously... Uh, run the installer here as well or create a package so if you create a package it's going to create a package there move on to automate and you can automate this apps in install apps apps reinstall built-in apps and we also have removed default apps and so on if you click on these, it does give you a bit of information down here, which you can see here. So for instance, if you wanted to put ticks in these, uh, you can put the ticks in them here and it will disable certain features here as well. And it's saying energy ultimate performance mode. If you wanted to enable that, you could do. And again, there you go. remove OneDrive, and we also got remove default apps recommended. And there we go. And once you're happy, you can run the code on the fly, and it will start to do what it's meant to do here. We'll open up this box here. So we'll just leave that running. You can see the preview window here. Just going to leave this uh, running here. It's going to process and remove all this information for us. So you can also click on uh, this area here, and it will tell you up here on the preview window what to do. You can say click check button to run 
a quick check of your Windows 11 configuration. So you can click check and it's going to check this. You can see it's done the check here. And uh, we can just now add these check marks in. and fix issues and you click on this and it will go ahead and fix these for us there we go that simple and you should see up the top here it's going to uninstall the widget and it's going to start to uh, remove all of this stuff from the computer so we'll just let that run there as well you can empty the recycle bin for the apps as well for what we just done here if you want to run these you can run them and it's just going to uninstall all of this stuff here. And again, we can install this stuff as well. You can run the installer. And you can automate as well. And this will go ahead and uh, get these packages and install them on the system. You can see it's starting to install now. And this list can obviously grow in time. So check out this uh, website regular and you'll see some updates here. It's just installing VLC here, as you can see, and it'll also install 7-Zip, Chrome and Notepad++ on there as well. Now you can also make changes uh, to your system as well by going into your settings, the normal one that you like doing, which I see a lot of people do here. For older systems, which is adjust in this area here, you can adjust for best performance, or you can do custom and add in your custom settings depending on what you want to do uh, here. So show thumbnails instead of icons, and also smooth edges and uh, screen fonts, which is probably going to be better for you. So these two here, if you've got an older system, that is, you can set this up here, like so. You see, this is going to turn this area off here. So you can turn some of these on or off, depending on what you want on down the bottom here. We'll just leave this as is. And that script is now finished off its job, which is what it was meant to do. And again, we can check some of these settings now. So you can see it's looking different here. So if we have a look here now, we can see we've got dark theme enabled. Uh, some changes have been made to the uh, taskbar here, the clock has been removed, everything else has been changed. You can change these settings to your liking. You can remove this and leave the clock on there if you wish. You just need to remove the ticks from those areas so it doesn't uh, tamper with those areas. Again, it will make changes to your settings and things like that. You can see the widgets has now been removed as well. Again, it's going to make changes inside here as well for you. It's going to make changes to your privacy and security just as you... Uh, suggested in your script when you run it it will make those changes for you if you look here it's going to make changes for instance let's go down to diagnostic and feedback and you can see it's already made changes here also coming down to inking you can see this is turned off go back and we can go to location and these are all turned off as you can see here If we look in apps and features here, you're going to see a lot of these have been removed here. This, a lot of this stuff has been taken off the system. And we can check also services just to see what else has been removed. So I'll just quickly go to services here. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be some services that have been uh, disabled as well. So let's just take a look here on the services. I'm going to come down here. There we go. And it's going to disable the ones that needed to be disabled. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can speed up your Windows 11 by removing a lot of unnecessary bloat and removing a lot of uh, privacy concerns like telemetry and things like that using a script. I'll leave the link in the video description. Use it at your own risk. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate your support. 
your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.